Welcome to today's lesson, Adding and Subtracting Decimals. Today we are going to practice adding and subtracting decimals by making sure we line up our decimal point. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin by subtracting 2 and 92 hundredths, minus 1 and 1 hundredth. Now first we're going to look at a diagram of 2 and 92 hundredths so that we can see what decimals would look like using an area model. So here we have two holes, which makes sense because we have a two in the ones place. We have a nine in the tenths place, which is to the right of the decimal, which means it's part of a whole. And we have a two in our hundredths place, which is represented by these two hundredths. So to subtract these two numbers, I'm first going to rearrange the problem. We have two and 92 hundredths. And I'm going to set this up right beneath it, making sure I line up our decimal points. As long as I line up the decimal points, that will make sure that I also line up the ones place, the tenths, the hundredths, and all of the other place values. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start subtracting. Just like a regular subtraction problem, we're going to start all the way to the right. So we're going to start in the hundredths place. We have two hundredths, which we can see right here, and we're going to subtract one. Two minus one equals one. We have two, we're going to subtract one, and that leaves us with one. Let's move to the tenths place. We have nine tenths, which we can see right here. We're going to subtract zero, which leaves us with all nine tenths. Now we have to bring down our decimal point. This is going to represent that we are now moving into whole numbers. We have two holes and we're going to subtract one. So I take away one hole and that leaves me with one hole left over. Pretty simple. Two and 92 hundredths minus one and one hundredth equals one and 91 hundredths. Let's go ahead and try this problem again, except this time Let's try adding these two numbers together. So first we need to set this problem up, and just like we did with subtraction, we have to make sure that we line up our decimal places. This is going to keep all of our remaining place values lined up so that we can easily add these decimals together. So let's go ahead and let's start in our hundredths place. We have two hundredths plus one hundredth, which equals one, two, three hundredths. We have nine tenths plus zero tenths, which equals nine tenths. We make sure that we bring our decimal point down because that's going to make sure that we have our whole numbers to the left of the decimal and our parts of a whole or our decimal values to the right. We have two holes, one, two, and we are adding one more to it, which gives us three. So we have three holes. 2 and 92 hundredths plus 1 and 1 hundredth equals 3 and 93 hundredths. Let's run through a practice problem together. 2 and 932 thousandths minus 1 and 5 tenths. I'm going to start by setting up my problem, putting my larger number on top because we are subtracting, and then I'm going to subtract 1 and 5 tenths. Now notice, one number is a lot longer than the other one, but I had to line up my decimal values. Since one and five tenths ends in the tenths place, I can fill in zeros for the remaining place values. All right, let's go ahead and solve. Let's start in the thousandths place. Two minus zero equals two. Three minus zero equals three. Nine minus five equals four we have to bring down our decimal, and two minus one equals one. Are you ready for another problem? Let's try five and 68 hundredths plus one and 324 thousandths. I'm going to start by arranging my problem with five and 68 hundredths plus one and 324 thousandths. And again, I made sure that I lined up my decimal and that lined up the rest of the place values. Since five and 68 hundredths does not have a value in the thousandths place, I'm going to put a zero as a placeholder. All right, let's walk through this together. We're going to start in the thousandths place. 
Zero plus four equals four. Eight plus two equals 10. And we are going to regroup our one into the tenths place. Six plus three equals nine, plus one equals 10. So once again, we are going to regroup our one into the holes. I have my decimal brought down. Five plus one equals six, plus one equals seven. That was pretty simple. Let's try a word problem together. Micah saved $32.25 to bring to the toy store. He spent $19.05 at the store. How much money did he have left? Well, let's go ahead and set up our problem. We have $32.25, and we're going to subtract $19.05. Now remember, we have to line up our decimals. All right, let's go to our next step. Let's start at the hundredths place. Five minus five equals zero. Two minus zero equals two. We need to bring down our decimal. We can't subtract nine from two, so we're going to need to regroup our tens and bring it over to our ones. Twelve minus nine equals three. Two minus one equals one. Micah had $13.20 left over. Let's take a moment to review what you learned in today's lesson. We're going to start by subtracting two and nine tenths minus one and 32 hundredths. Now remember, when you're trying to set up your problem, make sure you line up your decimal. That's going to line up your remaining place values. Also, if you have a blank place value to the right of the problem, you can always use a zero as a placeholder. Then when you're ready to subtract, you always start in the furthest place value to the right. If you can't subtract the number, which means we can't subtract two from zero, then you may have to regroup and bring over into the next place value. 10 minus two equals eight, eight minus three equals five, I make sure I bring down my decimal, and two minus one equals one. When you're adding two decimals, you start very similarly, making sure that you line up your place values. Also, if you have any place values that are remaining to the right of the decimal, you're going to fill in a zero as a placeholder. And then, just like subtraction, you start in the furthest place value to the right. One plus zero equals one, Zero plus nine equals nine, and nine plus two equals 11.